Three things I love most about Georgetown are the people, the city, and YZ's cookies. I love how the Jesuit values inform our daily interactions with one another. The campus ministry department and being around the corner from Tombs. The growing disability community at Georgetown. Farmer's Market and every dog that I've ever seen on campus. It's the emphasis on being an international community. The absurd amount of acronyms. Black Student Alliance and Georgetown Day. The opportunities for me to explore and define my passions through extracurricular activity. The opportunities to get involved in the DC community through experiential learning or service work. The African American Studies Department and Georgetown Event Management Services. And definitely the students. Definitely the people. Um, the fact that it finally gave me a place to call home. The professor who has had the biggest impact on me is Professor Alyssa Wabel. Professor Joseph Hartman and Professor Michelle Suarez from the Government Department. It was definitely Libby Rifkin. Professor Rosemary Ndebuizu in the African American Studies Department. The professor who had the biggest impact on me was definitely Hannah Sandy. Professor Donna Brazil. Professor Erica Seaman from the America Studies Program. Dr. Marsha Chatlin. Without her support and encouragement, I couldn't say with confidence that I'd be the person graduating before y'all today. The one who's had the most impact on me at Georgetown has to be Father Raymond Kemp. Uh, cheers, Father Raymond Kemp. 27 years, uh, you are finally retiring. We are all grateful for you. One thing that COVID-19 has taught me about resiliency is that we grow in the face of adversity. Resiliency is something I see in all of the student activists who fight each and every day to make our community safer, more inclusive, and more equitable. We may not always be together, but that doesn't mean we cannot always be there for each other. Career personnel is not something that we just see on banners on campus. It's not something that we just say to one another. It's actually something that we believe in and act on. You're never alone. Community goes way deeper than being in the same place at the same time. In so many ways, Georgetown has taught me how to adapt fight and succeed, no matter what the odds were. We can continue to pursue our passions, whether or not we're on the hilltop. When I think of Georgetown, I think of all the people and all the memories. So thank you professors, thank you deans, cheers to the class of 2020. I want to acknowledge Professor Christopher Shin. I would like to give a shout out to three phenomenal black women who are faculty members at Georgetown, Whitney Maddox, Jennifer Wiggins, and Bernice Atrium. I just want to extend my love to all of the theater seniors. I want to give a congratulations also to the professors who helped us get here, all the deans, all the employees of Georgetown who don't often get all the recognition that they deserve. I'd like to acknowledge Dean Cherlonzo, my friends and family, and the Georgetown Scholars Program. I'd also like to say thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020, specifically Hoya Blacks of 2020, we did it, y'all. We made it. We here. Uh, and just to say that I love y'all. And we lit. <laughs> it's been an honor to be on this ride with you guys. Congratulations to all of us. Hoya Saxa. 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 Hoya Saxa.